for up. BBV, first pick Siver, so they weren't worried about Loco Doco playing Siver because they were planning to take it. Baited they into themselves. It in. But Apple gets what he wants now. He gets anything. And this really leaves Loco Doco to play Jinx at this point because Jinx, Siver, Lucian are pretty much the go-to ADCs. He could fall back on something else, like a Caitlyn. A little bit of Corky Asriel, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Corky took some hits in this, in this patch oh, yeah, that's where his true, Phosphorus yeah. Bomb doesn't go as quickly, so it has the travel time on it. So we've it's seen the little Corky, overhead. right? Yeah, but they buffed the ratio of AD on his rockets, so it's kind of a, a strange swap, but we don't see him. And it's just tiny things like that that make champions fall out of the, favor. The minimum two seconds between rockets as well. Now. Yeah, that was that's in 3.13, like that. so that's been on top of everything. So, so Annie and Olaf in uh, for Quantic. Olaf could really go either way. Uh, been really strong coming out of the jungle. Shivana and Vi, strong looks here for VVV. A lot of people, I mean, that's the thing right now. The roster, very, very big. Uh, you know, like you said, the, the real top picks down bottom, like you said, I should say, the top picks down bottom have uh, been Siver, Jinx, Lucian. But that secondary cast are still very strong. Um, you know, you've still got Caitlyn coming out in a big way. Uh, still see a little bit, not as much, like you said, uh, of Corky after the patch. Yeah. But Ezreal starting to come back out uh, strong as well. We saw him just a little bit earlier today. Leona going to be the grab. And I like to see that. I want to see what the season four Leona is going to look like because she's a big favorite of mine from way back. Obviously yeah, doesn't just, get a whole lot of competitive play. Yeah, she's just extremely aggressive is what it comes down to. She didn't get as many buffs as a lot of supports. But yeah, there, there we go. Loco Doco. <laughs> Hovering over the Jinx, going to lock that one in. And Apple is going to get himself a Rengar game in once again. And Absolute D terror I, last game, yeah. I think Cheese Beluga will probably go for an Orianna. He doesn't know what's coming out for, I mean, sorry, what's coming out for Quantic yet. So I think he's going to go for a safe pick Orianna. Cheese Beluga is good on that champion. Porpoise Pops would be able to deliver the ball with his EQ combo and then get snuggled as a Shivana. I, at least that's where I think it's going. That's also another there ball delivery. There are three, three strong ball delivery. Yeah, Leona's going to have her yeah. EQ, uh, EQ combo. And against uh, just the Jinx, E to get in, but yeah. Against the Jinx, that is something that you really want. You want that dive because then there's nobody to protect her. She has to fend for herself at that point. And it, they are hovering over the Oriana. Yeah, might as well call this team Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. It's Oriana's Murder Ball. Yep. <laughs> uh, spoilers, guys. You don't have to watch the show to see that one coming. Uh, VVV looking for a lock, and they're going to get a big, yep. big front line here out of VVV. Strong yeah, front line on the other side as well, though. I mean, you got to say Ringar and Olaf certainly able to play an intimidating front line. Suno looking to grab the RE once again, possibly. Guns is sitting on it for the moment. Yeah, I really like this composition from VVV already. But Quantic, they have a lot of individual skill, and their composition right now is looking more like a pick comp, and it really depends on what they put in the mid lane. Suno here, if he goes for that Ari, it's going to be definitely more or less a pick composition here, but it's really hard to pick off a Shivana. She'll constantly run away from him. Possibly, Sivir's also kind of easy to pick off, but I'm not quite sure. He, I think he'll go with the Ari, though. That's what I'm thinking. Suno seems to be comfortable on that champion. It does wonders for him. Granted, he doesn't always have the best games, but what's he going to fall back on? He could fall back on like a Riven, but it's banned out. And it really isn't a lot here for him. Syndra, possibly. Mid lane Kha'Zix. Yeah, <laughs> it's... Uh, <laughs> that kind of he puts some him really what? heavily weighted to one side, but yep. uh, yeah. So, that yep. a lock, and Suno will be taking Ari to the field once again on VVV. It's going to be J4 up top, waiting nope. for the... Nope. J4, why <laughs> would I even jump. think J4 up top? As I was, They were switching, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to wait for him to finish switching. Shivy up top, J4 in the jungle. Oriana, Siver, and Leona to round out the rest of the field. On the Quantic side, it's going to be Ringar, Olaf, Ari, Jinx, and Annie. We've talked a lot about VVV's coordination. We've already seen Quantic come out with some nice coordination, nice movement around the field. We'll see if VVV's got the stuff, or if Quantic's going to start out group round 2-0 right after this. Is that we'll see. Actually, no Leona skin. I'm a little. Or no, that's a. Uh... It's the Oriana. The Oriana and the Shivana. I gotta give it over to him. Look yeah. Just nothing. Just nothing for Quantic. I'm, I was a believer, but now maybe he's gonna get a Gonshu gonna come running in. They're gonna get things yeah. started up. Axel slow him down, and soon he'll get away. He's looking for I'm the shield of daybreak stun. Sira, a BVVV lure. Or whatever it is. A, I like to Beaver switch maybe? the B and the V. Yeah. <laughs> we have a Belieber. For BBB? Yeah. BBB B. is the vest team. <laughs> oh. Get up some vests that say BBB on. I do like a good vest. 
Yeah, I do. Who doesn't? Keeps you warm, especially a sweater vest. Keeps you warm just in the middle. Mm-hmm. My arms aren't cold. Just my, just you know, it's about keep, core body temperature. Yeah, keep your vital organs there. It's true. Nice and cozy. All the level one drama abates. Quantic still three strong up top. Maybe yeah. looking to grab themselves a Shabambo. Let's use Baluga Paws. Quantic Prime ends up taking the Doran's Blade into the jungle there. And the changes to Doran's Blade kind of makes Bichetti one of the better pickups early on because it gives basically, it does actually, it gives the same amount of HP regen on hit, but you start out with more potions with the Machete because they added the 5 HP regen. So he's going for some combat stats early on. Prime might be looking to make some early plays. And I'm not sure, but apparently we have some key binding issues. They're going to go ahead and rebind those really quick. As we look at the, the trinkets coming out here, we have one on the side of VVV, just in Porpoise Pop's hands. And then we have Gunza and Apple taking the sweepers. And I was talking about sweepers, sorry. Because <laughs> everybody takes Warding Totem pretty much standard. Yeah. It's the oddity that you take something else. And yeah. You take the, what, was the, what was that other one? Uh, it's not either of those two. It's the... The Scrying Orb? Yeah, there's the I one. Believe, I believe that's what it's called. That's like clairvoyance, right? Yeah, it's, it's like a terrible clairvoyance. You only really pick that up when your your team is behind and you're inside of your base and the team is basically trying to siege your, outs, your inner turrets, your inhibitor turrets. So instead of going outside of your base, you just throw those down so that you can see their rotations. That's really the only time you get it. And of course, they're free, so swappable in, at any in time. Invade, coming in here. They see it, though. So Get Snuggled going to stay over the wall. It's the ward into the brush. I dropped the vision there. No counter vision. Prime got time. And Porpoise Bomb's going to get it away, though. Yeah, it's going to slow down Prime a little bit. No experience off of that. So Porpoise Pops is going to be a little bit behind. Does have the experience from it. Quantic Prime's even further behind. But there's a lane swap here initiated. And a lot of damage from VVV on this bottom turret already. They already pushed that wave. Trade there. They're going to give Suno a blue buff from their side. Get Snuggled going to catch a shock to the back of the head. He's going to have to leave the lane. Oh, no. They gave it to Suno. You're right. Absolutely. That was quick. They started it from the jump. Like, they were just... It was all or nothing, I think, uh, for that for that blue buff grab there. So Prime going to be, uh, you know, hurting a little bit from mana here early on. Suno, not so much. We'll possibly give him a little bit of an advantage farming and harassing against Cheese Beluga. Right now, things fairly even in the mid lane. Corpus Pop's going to pick up his own red now. Has his red in his blue. Prime, not so lucky. Just has his red. So he's not going to be able to have one of those fantastic... Because you really rely on having the red and the blue when you do those 3v1 tower pushes. He's got a wave clear as well. And as you can see, Prime sitting on no mana right now. But Porpoise Pop's going to rotate down bottom. Tails got you. They're going to try to zone on Apple. He's still level 1. Are they going to go for something here? Apple trying. He's just going to flash out. Knows he can't stand up to the fight. VVV will let him get away. A flash spins good enough for them as they're going to get all the time they need with the turret. Apple not going to leave the lane entirely, however. Top side, it's not going to be the same deal. Still just too strong up there. Goods are working his way in. Going to catch an E off against Snuggled, but got to old Olaf swinging down bottom, and he is going to be late to that party. From the looks of it, bottom outer going to fall any second now. And yeah, just stopping by the Wolves. Got a slow start without picking up that blue, so he needs to stay in catch it on up. I don't think that turret's going to be answered, though. Get Snuggled has been defending this top turret extremely well with the burnout and just auto attacks, keeping it on for seven seconds and just clearing that wave. And the fact that Porpoise Pops was able to get his blue and then Prime wasn't, Prime had to back early, wasn't able to help push that top lane. And so I think they're actually get there in time. Like, no damage under this turret. It's not even half HP. It might be after this wave. Pushing in, yeah. Don't have, uh, don't have the caster minions. Got that... Area of effect just working down the caster I minions. Mean, doesn't have a cannon minion, that's what I meant to say. Gonna catch the stun and it gets snuggled. A few too many shots on the guns. He drops down under half health. They'll have to back it up. Get snuggled heading home. The Gonna AD tag it out. Combo swinging top. Gonna tag Cleanly him out. handled there by VVV and a nice start for him. Yeah, very, very good start there. And we, we didn't see that happen in the first two games today. We didn't see a turret get unanswered this early on. Usually it was just one for one, and then the game kind of goes into, okay, what do we do? Who's getting the dragon? Who's getting the second turret? But no, not even the first turret going down now, but they do rotate their ADC and support up top, which means that they relieve dragon pressure. Hasn't been taken yet, whereas the previous games, we saw it contested about this time, five minutes in. 
Corpus Cop yes, still working his way around. Prime, it's it's a rough thing to get off to a slow start, especially when you're up against what basically amounts to, you know, sort of an analog version of yourself. You're going to have that same ability to do solid damage on Porpoise Pops, especially through the early part of the game. Prime, trying to keep pace, doing a good job, though, so far. And really around the field, CS numbers looking looking good for Quantic, who uh, weren't able to answer back the turret. Cheese Beluga could be first blood here. Down he goes. Suno picks it up. Prime helping out there and still in good shape as he rolls it back. Porpoise pops onto the lane a little too late. Godshu rolling forward, not getting a lot done for the cost of it. Tails going to shield up up top. Yeah, the flash was blown there by Gunza. He ended up flashing and trying to go in for a stun. Godshu taking a little bit of her ass. Slowed Olaf on the way up. They do have ward coverage in the brush. No spot prime out, so not going to come to a head up top. VVV will remain safe there. It's going to be a tower for VVV. First blood for Quantic. Quantic up 200 gold now. Ward being cleared out by Gunza in the top lane, bringing the sweeping lens. And it's 2v2 still up in the top lane. So they forced Loco Doco onto the Jinx pick because they took the Sivir away, they took the Lucid. And 3.4, those are really the trifecta, because we saw trifecta of top lane in basically the early 3.12 at Worlds, and now it's basically trifecta of ADCs. You ban one out, you pick the other, the other guy's basically forced on that last one. So I think they know how to handle Loco Doku in this situation, and they set up their team comp for it for VVV. But they just haven't been making the rotations just yet. It's still early in the game, gold even across the board. And it's really just CS that's making this difference in that first blood. Because if you look at Suno, he's got a CS lead over Cheese Beluga, and then the first blood and the assist coming into effect is going to equal that turret. And overall, I'm still a little surprised that they decided to keep the pr not not keep the pressure on, and they went for the two v two lane instead of going for two v one again. Because they could have just Apple. rotated it differently from Quantum. Turn side. around. Yeah, and Apple, one of those guys that you really want to keep down actively. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You want him to not have nice. We could things. get Dragon too. Yeah. If you're down bottom. But they just wanted to defend the turret and keep this pressure off. They might rotate it back when they want to contest Dragon. But once again, blue buff, point of contention, Quantic. Quantic going to bring like, four to the fight. Like only two in. Only takes a well timed smite from Porpoise Pops. And I think they may just be deciding that's not worth it. Gotcha, you're going to get caught up. Flashes away from the Chompers. Is still locked up for the time being. As Gunza managed to get one down, Blue's going to go over to Prime, and they will back it on up. Tail's going to try and lock it up. Gotshu goes into the pile. He's going to be the first back out. Prime picks up a kill there. Now 3v4 with Suno low. VVV going to lock, lock up. Porpoise Pops, can he get away? Ooh, big shockwave to stop him from following. Porpoise Pops going to stay safe for now. Got Apple swinging up. Shivana in mid lane to keep it safe. Quantic all a little too low. Suno and Prime recalling. Yeah, Apple using his Apple ultimate. Keeping it safe. Just keeping everybody away. Clears the lane very quickly through there. Tails going to soften it up. And Apple going to stay the front. Just goes straight on to Tails. Tails clearing out the mid lane. A dragon grab here for VVV. Going to be the look of it. Add a little global gold on, and it will catch them up in a little bit extra. Yeah, Apple has blue now. And this is 3.14. They actually nerfed the cooldown reduction on blue. It's only 10% now. So that's only giving him 10% cooldown reduction. Suno not going to have a blue either because that blue went over to Prime, the one over from VVV's jungle. And the main story of that fight was Cheese Beluga didn't have any mana. He came in there, used Shockwave, used Dissonance, and he was basically out. And Loco Doco was able to pick up Godshu, so he was able to speed away just out of range. Kept it out to the side, so still not on the board kill-wise. It's a turn of piece of Dragon now. Over to VVV, but still... 1.2k gold lead for Quantic. Loco Doco sent his ult down bottom. Couldn't walk away with any free goodies, however, and Dragon easily secured by VVV there. At a bit of a cost, however. And so Cheese Beluga just trying to sustain up in this lane, keep himself there, or at least keep lane presence, not really sustain up, but keep his CS up, because he's falling behind as the game goes on here. Apple still working things down bottom. It's a rough time for him. And yeah. those, <laughs> these numbers, the mid lane and the, uh, the the mid lane and the ADC are swapped on that graph, I believe. So the, no, the, 70, it's, the 75 know, graphs, belong to belong graphs to aren't a uh, graphs aren't an exact science, you know. There's a lot of interpretive <laughs> data. Suno gonna go on the run, gets out of the shockwave. 
That's just one Foolish of those things. Students. He's really good at that too. I think I see him dodge a lot of things with his spirit yeah, rush. He got, he got out of the the super big inferno big bomb all the time. Bomb, whatever, yeah. Yeah, all the time. I think I've seen him do it like three times over the course of the tournament. He just holds on to it. He's like, I'm not killing people with that. That's for last minute kill pickups and getting getting out of dodge. Mm -hmm. 1k gold lead still for Quantic now as they put some pressure on bottom outer. Going to continue to pressure now as Loco Doco and Goods are down bottom. Apple stay in the front as well with the lane pushed over top side. Not a lot of EVV can do about it. Prime going to come up and play the game. Gives a little bit of mana back to Tails. Got you coming up. Going to put some stun on, and it's not going to work as Ragnarok burned. Prime going to walk it out as he just doesn't have the damage to do the job all by his lonesome with Godshu up there. Standard comes down, and they're going to keep harassing. Quantic, a lot of pressure down bottom. Good answer from VVV, not over committing. Going to force Prime to do his work up top. So the thing here with the composition from VVV is if they don't get cheesed Beluga up... Oh, Prime! Going to go for it. Tails gets get out. Godshu, just too much kit there. Yes, flash available. Run. Get snuggled in trouble down bottom. He's all right. It's going to be prime dropping. Tails grabs the kill. Got you. Very nearly didn't make it through there. Those minions would hurt a little bit. W going to get him out. Yeah, the clip's going to give him some oh. extra armor and magic resistance. Jinx oh, bomb. Bob. What? <laughs> Just goes by. Nope. He's walking back. <laughs> Wishes are not safe versus the Jinx. I say, if she's Beluga doesn't get going, they're not going to have a strong shockwave and dissonance off of somebody with the ball delivery system. So get snuggled. Tails or Cheese Beluga really need to get somewhere and quickly. Because Quantic, they have some really good scaling champions here. Suno will be able to blow up a high priority target. Loco Doco will just stay very far back in the back lines. And then Prime, if he gets going, he can just charge into the high priority targets of VVV and tear them apart. If he's on an Orianna, she's not getting away. She's Beluga now working down some rates. Been a fairly quiet game thus far. A couple of turrets down, a dragon down. Only three kills around the board, and that third one just getting tacked on as Prime was doing some work up top, keeping the lane pushed over, trying to buy some time for the bottom lane to get the work done. Porpoise pops and gets snuggled. Had a thing or two to say about it. Word over the wall for Godsu as VVV going to push it in mid lane. They got plenty of people in the area for Quantic, though, so it shouldn't come to too much. Dragon still uh, pretty good ways out. VVV. Just going on the roam. And they see VVV off on the side. This ping's coming here. It's going to be a 4v4. Word cleared okay. out. Snuggles. Snuggled coming up. But no, he's actually going to go off the side. The blue buff might go over to an, somebody who actually wants it this time. If they can get it. Tail's going to soak up the charm. Prime and Thirsty. He managed to get that last one with the uh, invade. The top side there. He's going to grab his blue buff as Porpoise Pops works it down. They're going to get it over to Cheese Beluga. It's been in need for a while now, that mid lane, especially with Suno starting off the blue. Going to retain the blue, a little help from Loco Doco. It's going to swing bottom, clean house again. Still just about a, actually, let's be accurate, 700 gold lead right now. It's going to say about 1,000. You know how it is. Oh, Shockwave. I like, that. I like the estimate. Going to land on the Suno. Suno got friends, and they're going to keep trying it. Suno going to get away. Tails under the turret. Got you soaking the damage on the front from VVV4 strong onto this turret with Suno unable to partake in the fight. Got you too much of a threat. No swinging around the side. VVV will be forced back though as the lane's cleared away. Nice strong maneuver by VVV there. Just can't quite finish off Suno. Yeah, the God Shoes layering of his CC. He threw down the Solar Flare, tried to throw out the Zenith Blade in time, but it didn't hit. And he was able to just have Suno use his Spirit Rush away, but they'll get a tower off of it at the least. Forced recall on Suno. Proves to be strong enough. Prime just not too beefy to go in at the front line. Five strong push will finish the job. Dragon back up in just about 20 seconds. And VVV going to have Porpoise Pops recall now. The rest in the area basically ready to go. Pressure going to be coming down the line here from Quantic as a couple recall. Not going to keep it on though. Just going to look for the dragon grab. Pings on to a charm lands. Nothing going to come of it. Everybody knows this is going to go down, though, so we're going to have a 5v5 here, I believe. Unless Quantic can pick it up extremely quickly, Corpus Pops isn't in the area just yet, and gets and uh, Tails is off on the side. Corpus Pops not going to make it back in time, and that'll be the end of it. Yeah, they pick it up extremely quickly. Prime walks it away. Easy peasy. No lemons involved. 1k <laughs> gold lead still 
for Quantic. They are down a turret now, as they were in the start of the game. Haven't been able to answer back. VVV with good map control. Cheese Beluga in trouble. He is going to fall. Ignite's going to burn him on down. Apple getting the credit for that one. Ignite burning on Suno. Now Shivana coming in for the far side. Loco Doco going to get slowed in the far side of the ult from Godshu. Is that going to be enough? Burn's not enough. Suno going to stay alive. It was a good flash from Get Snuggled to flash over the charm and then use Dragon's Ascent, but it was a very good flash by Suno to actually flash out of the way. So <laughs> very well played there by both of them. Great micro on that. Holds on to that maneuverability for the mm -hmm. times when you really need it. And it will get on okay. All three of the Quantic. They're going for a pinch here. Clear. Porpoise Pops wants guns in. He's just going to get a big bunch of slaps in the face as he gets denied. Those All three advances tails. rebuffed indeed. Ultimate from Tails was blown there to try and close the distance. Get Snuggled maybe could have come around, but they decided to call off the fight. They do defend bottom, though. Apple trying to do work up top. Cheese Beluga going to make it back to lane and clears things on out. 16 minutes, 15 seconds ticked away, and the lead not worth mentioning. Quantic up 1,000 gold. They're down a turret, and really nobody with a lot of room to roam on the map. Mid turret down for VVV, probably the most significant thing of the game. A dragon apiece for each team, and not a whole lot of action. Four kills on the board, a couple of turret grabs. There's been a lot of dancing, and again, it, we saw this the last time Quantic played VVV. Both sides paying a lot of respect to the other just really not wanting to be the one to screw up and give that game over because they know that both of these teams will take any lead they can get and run with it. Yeah, they're really... Quantic, I think Loco Doco talked about this in one of his vlogs, they're really about low risk, low reward. They don't want to make risky plays. They want to take the advantages that they can get without sacrificing a lot or putting themselves at a disadvantage to even get that lead. So they're Suno under attack from Porpoise Pops. No ult on him. Shockwave's going to be short as Suno will use the getaway juice one more time. Yeah. So Quantic's about that slow strangle. They want to slowly but surely take a lead. And like right now, Apple split pushing the top. He's going to bring somebody up there to fight him. And it, you know <laughs> how Apple does? He's just constantly going to split push, constantly going to get bigger. 20 CS lead over Get Snuggled. And it's Rengar. If you leave him alone there and you don't rotate appropriately for about 10 seconds, your turret's already gone. Shivana certainly capable of getting big as well, but right now gets gets snuggled. Just got the CS on the board. Apple got a kill for himself. Tail's gonna help come up trying to fix that. But again, showing that uh, you know low risk, low reward type of gameplay. They pulled two top, which means they're gonna be able to clear things up around the rest of the map. It's Quantic gonna bring two to mid. Got Jinx and Olaf bottom to try to finish the turret off there. Drops a ward into Tri Brush. It's gonna be Oriana that comes down to try to pass out friendship bracelets. Loco Doco not into crafts though, so he's just gonna he's gonna bail on that one. He says it's macaroni art kind of guy, not into <laughs> friendship bracelets. And so what happened there was Apple pulled a lot of aggro top. He pulled three people towards him, so Prime and Loco Doco just decided to go bottom and get the free turret. Like I was saying, low risk, low reward. They get the turret, and it was basically calculated off of that. Now having a 1.7k gold lead in the favor of Quantic. It's snuggled very lonely. No ward coverage in the river, though, so Apple not overplaying it. Going to keep it nice and safe. VVV now tied up on the turret count, and they're going to go down. That's close to 2K, and not going to be able to quite catch it up as VVV still out on the map farming things up. Blue Buff going to go over to Cheese Beluga one more time. As Out of the four that have been around, they've managed to capture two now, so VVV making those stats look a little bit better for them. Minute 50 left on the clock before Dragon's back up and running. And right now, yeah, I'm Dragon apiece. Two turrets apiece. Three kills to one. Just the slightest of leads for Quantic. 1.6k gold. Haven't been able to really force things around the map. Like I said, a lot of respect being paid on both sides. But from the looks of it, BBV been largely on the retreat here as Quantic are basically inching for the edge of that battle line. Yeah, if they just stay even in turrets... All these dragons are going to make a difference here. They're even in dragons, but there's two kills in the favor of Quantic, and the CS lead is in favor of them, I think, on two characters right now. So that that's it. It's the jungler and the top laner. Mid lane did swing in favor of Cheese Beluga, but if you look over at Suno, he's not looking at CS anymore. He picked up his DFG. He's looking for kills. He's going to look to start roaming and start picking people off with that and using his full combination. Got plenty of room to move with it too. 144 CS, 102 on the kill counter. Just two deaths on Oriana. Again, 
A single kill on the board, that one belonging to Tails, who honestly probably needs it the most there on Sivir, and he's sitting at 158 CS just to run it across, though. Oriana won at 148, Suno on Ari at 145, 102 in the kill death assist count for Ari, 020 Oriana, 163 on Loco Doco, doing some work in the jungle right there. He's got an assist versus the kill on Tails and 158 CS there. Big numbers in the jungle, though, on Prime, who's sitting 111, 106 CS. Versus the 66 on Porpoise Pops. Going to be much scarier axes flying out of that prime. But still, can't argue with the Cataclysm and all the utility Porpoise Pops. Going to be bringing 130 to 121 in the slugfest of Titans up top. Apple and Snug working on each other. A single kill dot in the Apple kill death assist counter. And that's going to be it for top lane action. Both going to be very big parts of any team fights. However, you can count on that. Right now, VVV trying to play a little game of Chicken Dragon live. Not sure how they want to handle it. Looks like Tail's going to spin the ult, and they're just going to go running in full force. Quantic already on the retreat prime. Going to get a little look at it. They go wow. after Guns, and they're going to get nothing there. Big ult spin by Corpus Pops, and he's going to get locked up. Jungler off the field. Down he goes. They're going to have to try and turn something around here. They get Annie out, but the rest going to jump into the pile. Quantic with a strong start here. Tails over the wall. Prime chasing him down. Nothing doing right there. Double kill for Loco Toco. Looking for one more. Get snuggled. Going to go on the run. Suno in the chase. It's going to be Apple at the front, making sure nobody goes nowhere. Lock him up. Down goes. Get snug. Suno going to lock that one. Got you down. Loco Doco adds one more on to go 302. 203 on Suno. And a dragon going to follow it through. A little bit low, but they're in plenty good health. Porpoise pops back up and he's got no chance of making it there in time even though he wishes he could he wishes and hopes but jiminy cricket <laughs> just not listening it'll be 32.6 to 20 28 nearly said 22 28.7 k there those numbers man when i gotta read them 4,000 gold lead give or take mid outer in trouble down quantic finally getting a big look as it came down to a dragon grab bbb thought they had it and came up short there's a four for one there and they only lost their support, so Quantic was all over that dragon. There's a very good positioning there. Tails doing his best, using his cleanse and his flash to try to get out of there. And like I was saying, Prime and Apple are going to be straight on to Tails. He needs somebody to peel for him, but it's really hard to peel off an Olaf. And Olafs typically take Ghost, but that's why he took Flash. Because if Tails flashes over a wall like that, he's immediately on top of him. He had red buff, he was slowing him down. No way Tails could get away. And the ultimate from Tails was also spent a little early. And Guns is off on the side here. Quantic looking for a flank, got Prime in there as well. They're going to come in with the stun, shorts it, and BBV. Are they going to back it away? They do, finally, as Prime and Apple come running out of the jungle. mid inner going to take a little bit of a pounding there. Not a ton of health left on it, 720, but BBV backed away for now. A nice attempt and a, a classic maneuver there. A dragon grab, obviously that look at mid-outer is going to, it's going to make for some downtime when they back to go pick stuff up. Heads up play by VVV, but Quantic just too close in for VVV to finish the job. Yeah, and they were looking for a play there. They really, really were off on the side. Gunza looking for a, a Tibbers. No flash available for him. It was burned in the previous fight. So, huge advantage here. Well, I guess not huge, but four. It's 4K gold. It's the biggest one we've seen this game for Quantic. And the question is, can they start turning this into a snowball and rolling it down the hill? Or is VVV going to make a dam and just stop that thing early? Maybe Playing swing the it back. Classic, give them a little bit back. Yeah, that's the VVV, uh, the VVV special right well, there. The thing with VVV though is we usually see this from them where they don't have a good early game and then their late game is just phenomenal. Like that, that's usually been how they play. Every time I'm like, they're not doing too well in the CS department, and then they come back. And it's just the team fight coordination that they have. But Quantic is there to answer. They came to play today. Absolutely in good shape, and anytime Apple's around, you got to think twice about getting things started up. They're going to push on in, might be able to finish the turret off. As you've got Suno down bottom, get snug, going to take some shots there off of Prime, and that will keep them out. The wave clear not strong enough on the VVV side as things going to pile up. Quantic coming in, Gunza got a big stun. Charm going to catch a minion, and Gachu will hold on to his life, at least for now. Goes for a short chase there. After Suno, he's not going to get it. Quantic still playing it out to the side. Get Snuggle, going to get locked up. But Porpus Pop's going to come in with the jumping bump. Cataclysm, he's all by himself. Suno distracting the rest of the VVV side here. Porpus Pop all by himself for an extended period. He's going to fall to Loco Doco. Gachu runs low. Can he get picked up? Slow on the Gunza. Apple's there with a slow of his own, though. And Gachu got nowhere to go. Down and out to Loco Doco. 
Wow. Giovanna running extremely low, but gets snuggled, managed to make it out. Tail's still up. Cheese Beluga is as well. That was a two for nothing there. It might be even more. Get snuggled, gonna try to defend it. Prime on them. The, maybe the right side of the turret. Your call, really. Ringar gonna pick one up. Apple adds on. The legend continues. 204. Gonna have Prime add one on. Mid inner falls and cheesed Beluga and Porpoise Pops. Might be a little too scary, so Quantic gonna be a hasty retreat in the enemy jungle. Pick up some secondary objectives here. Prime looking for a red buff. Blue buff time for the top side of the Quantic field. Suno gonna grab that one. Loco Doco cleans up the rest in the lead. Now 8,000 gold for Quantic. Yeah, they completely blew this game wide open. Multiple fights, they're all going in their favor. I was, I believe, another four kills falling into the hands of Quantic. Oh, man, the shockwave from Cheese Beluga hit nobody in that fight. He was going for only Suno, and Suno flashed away, took Leona with him because the E landed right as he used it. And so he pulled Leona off into an awkward bush, and the shockwave didn't hit. It was just very well played there by Suno. Like, like we just said earlier, using it as an escape mechanism on the Spirit Rush and the Flash. Not really aggressive. He leaves that to the rest of his team. They really these just are, dive all in. These are the sort of out of VVV, widespread fights. Except in those fights, uh, they would, you know, they were a little bit closer on the gold counts as well. And, you know, Porpoise Pops just stayed alone at the front for too, too long. That pulling off right there. Basically, Suno's maneuverability stopped VVV from playing that widespread fight the way that they tend to like to. And uh, Quantic was really able to control it, push things in, pick up a couple, and then force their way onto an inner turret. Now four turrets to two, 11 kills to two. And they are in good shape. Yeah. And Cheese Beluga's Oriana hasn't really gotten off the ground too much. He doesn't have a needlessly large ra item at all. Whereas if we look at Suno, he has two completed. He has a Rabidin's Death Cap and a, and a DFG. But we just have an Athens and Holy Grail and a Haunting Guys for Cheese Beluga for the penetration. So he's not going to be doing that much damage even when he lands the Shockwave. And there isn't a huge damage source aside from Tails, who hasn't even finished the last Whisper yet. But if we look over at Lokodoko, he has. So there's huge advantages all across the board for Quantic now. Absolutely. Super widespread on the gold. 503 on Loco Doko right now. 205 on Suno in the mid lane. And Apple just making everybody's day, right? I gotta, I, you know, I harp on Apple a lot, but the guy just plays beautiful. 204, they're gonna lock up Suno. And Porpoise Pop's gonna get locked up himself as Suno makes it out. Prime comes in to join the party. Apple's making his way up. This could turn real bad. BBB gonna turn it around. God, you ult doesn't land. Shockwave on to Gunza. They're gonna send Siobhan out, but Apple's got all the damage dealers in the backside. God, you low. Get snuggled down. Gunza gonna be the one to grab God, you. Now Tails in trouble. Porpoise Pop's jump and bump for what it's worth, which is very, very little. Back to the pool he goes. And now it's 20 seconds for Quantic to turn the enemy base into their playground. VVV just going to have to sit and watch. Yep, 10k gold lead. Four for nothing in that fight once again, splitting them perfectly. Apple coming in from the side, causing a lot of panic. And they're going to get an inhibitor for this. As soon as I saw the Godshu ult go down, I felt just my heart sank for VVV. Because we had Apple coming in from that flank position. Any turnaround on VVV, anything less than a full retreat was going to be a huge flank opportunity for Quantic, and VVV just handed it right over to him. The Gachu ult dropped, Snuggle turned around and dropped his ult, tried to get it done, but it was too little too late as Prime and Apple ran the front, kept the damage dealers way away from that one. The underfed damage dealers at this point as well, and VVV just never had a way to start on it. Prime going to work the dragon down now. That will be their third of the game. One going over to VVV early on, but Quantic been in solid control since then. Yeah, and what's really funny is that VVV ended up making their composition around the fact that Jinx was going to get played here, and Porpoise Pops going for a steel flash yeah, over the wall. That's just been a flash, yeah. Yeah, they they made their composition revolve around the fact that they were going to deal with the Jinx, and Loco Doco has the highest kill participation on his team, tied with Prime, but Prime has one death, so I guess he has the most kills per life currently on his team. And he's doing phenomenal. Like, he did really well last game on that Sivir. And Loco Doco's really stepped up his game, I have to say. Like, it's really, usually we're here sitting around going, oh my god, Prime is really great and Guns is really good, but Loco Doco's really stepping up his game too. He's really bringing it. Absolutely. I mean, widespread kill participation here across the teams. In good shape, Loco Doco 506. He was huge last game as well. Apple just get snuggled down i gotta talk about how evenly spread everything is too look at those cs numbers all the way down the line even got prime keeping up it's 305 318 306 506 down the line even got a kill on the gunza there in that last fight 
So everybody taking part here. That 50,000 gold is spread beautifully evenly across VVV right now. No real or across Quantic VVV with no real kills to speak of. I mean, two kills across the board. They're on the people you want them, but it's just not going to keep up with a fully stacked Quantic team. Yeah, and Gunza is about to have his Deathfire Grasp as a support Annie. <laughs> He's got the components. He's so close Are you liking to it. season four? I no. don't like it season four. <laughs> <laughs> he's got he's got the preseason I'm sorry. yeah he's got the distortion boots on so he has the reduced cooldown on his flash so he's gonna have more flash tibbers coming out but oh my lord if he just gets dfg on somebody this is a pit comp through and through forcing objectives but they haven't even been playing it like it they've been playing it like it's a huge team fight composition which is what vvv's comp is so they've been beating vvv at their own compositions game and guns is gonna get a blue he's a blue <laughs> He's a carry at this point. This is not. We just, just put a just put one in the in the bucket for him. <laughs> AP bot lane now. I guess that's the yeah. new name for the role. I gotta say, I mean, he's running it pretty good. Obviously, he's gonna be running behind everybody else. Still got seventy three hundred gold across the field. Everybody else on Quantic up over ten k. But good money on the guns and being well spent around the field there. Get snuggled, waiting over the wall, but he's gonna get caught out. Another flank here from Apple means get snuggled. Got nowhere to go. They're gonna run it on Cheese Beluga, and they're gonna catch Cheese Beluga. They're gonna get him. Jump in, stun, flash out from Cheese Beluga. They're gonna go after it soon. I'm gonna get locked up in the shock wave. Does get out the back. Down he goes. Prime picks up the kill, and VVV front line gonna have to dissipate and back it on off right there. VVV just have not been keeping pace with the Quantic movement around the map, and they are paying for it big. Yeah, Porpoise Pops was mid, and Tails was bottom. Perfect rotation there by Quantic. VVV caught with their pants down on that one. Absolutely no other way to say it. Uh, cheese Beluga. I mean, they could have pulled Get Snuggled and forced uh, forced an old spin to try to get him away. They ended up forcing him to spin it anyway. Godshu going to walk into the bush of death there. He will get out. Tails trying to run the front as much as he can. Mid Inhib going to respawn before too long. So VVV able to hold it off this first time around, but they are down nearly 14,000 gold. We'll see if they can continue to hold it off because Quantic basically just kind of letting them have it, not forcing the issue. Like you said, bits and pieces until they put them together to form a big puzzle that says VVV loses. <laughs> just that ending screen. They're looking for that one. So Godshu went into that bush, he's like, I got him, you guys. But it's kind of like a bird flying into a spider net, a spider web. The spider's like, I got him, but what, what have you really got? You got this giant thrashing thing that's going to completely destroy what you have. Yeah, nothing you can do with it. And if he's bored, he might eat you. Yeah, exactly. Luckily, Godshu got out of that one. <laughs> he <managed laughs> to to the hills. He'll, he'll make another web, and hopefully next time it'll be a slightly smaller bird. But if Quantic has anything to say about it, it is not looking entirely likely. I think right now, I, I gotta say, keeping pace pretty good though. Uh, as far as supports go, he's 900 gold behind Annie, a thousand gold lead on the support side, probably uh, a million. By and large. <laughs> I love that we've got a counter for that, but you can see Leona was ahead for the bulk of the game. Baron try right now, mid inhibitor standing. BBV gonna come out and try it on, but Baron melting. We'll see if Porpoise Pops can come over the wall at the right time. And he comes. Is the smite steal yeah, going to be good? Yeah. It is. Porpoise Pops going to steal it away. Stun not going to land on anybody. However, they're going to be able to get Loco Delco off the field. Big grabs right here. Porpoise Pop going to fall. Ends up two for two. But with Quantic leading the way that they are, a very vital, necessary grab. Big play by Porpoise Pops. Quantic still got some damage dealers on the field, but they get Loco Doco out. Going to trade it for Tails and Porpoise Pops. As they grab Guns and Loco Doco, a nice grab, not not going to be enough on its own, but possibly going to give VVV a little bit of wind in the sails and make some moves later on. Yeah, Prime smited a little early. You can see that his smite's on cooldown, about to be off, but then po Porpoise Pops is going to come up just like a millisecond afterwards. So just smiting right after Prime did. Prime a little early on that one. And this has to do a little bit with the ramping up of smite because it's not as effective as it used to be at lower ranks. When you get to level 18, it's the same as it was previously, but now it has to ramp up because the beginning ranks of it are even lower. Got so. you recall. Going to be canceled there as he was worried. Apple might just murder, get snuggled in front of his face. Might have been shopping and uh, just had to call that one away. Get snuggled, going to get clear, though. He'll be all right. Apple now 406. They finally managed to put a kill on the Loco Doco's 518. 408 on Suno now as well. It was 2-2 two to two there, and that's, I think, one of the first even fights the VVV has had all game. And now they have Baron on two on three of their members now. 
yeah. And look at the even spread on the deaths. I guess and that's really uh, I, I'm I'm impressed by that. Four across the board on the on the damage dealers, jungler and top laner three deaths apiece. Uh, support sitting at four. That's good. I and like. They're shutting it. everybody down. That's nice and even. You know, nobody's nobody's really getting the juices there, which means again, gold maximization for Quantic, <laughs> <laughs> which they don't really need at this point. Still twelve thousand gold up after the Baron grab. Going to get themselves a dragon as well. Quantic just so far up right now. It's going to be very, very hard for VVV to do anything. Still got a couple of members spin a Baron. I believe it's on Gotchu Cheese Beluga and get snuggled still. Yeah. And uh, something I wasn't able to touch on is if we look over at Gunza, he now has the Ancient Coin, whereas previously he had the Spell Thief's Blade and he actually upgraded it once. But then he said, you know what? The final active on that when you upgrade it three times or twice to the third one, isn't as good as what the Shirelia's active is on the, uh, I think it's the medallion or whatever it is, the final one of the ancient coin. So you can only have one gold generation item. So he's deciding to swap it out this late in the game and go for the engagement. So Prime just cleaning lanes away. Uh, spring cleaning right now, waiting for the Baron buff to pull off. Giving VVV a little bit of time to move around the field. Cheesed Beluga going to grab himself his third blue buff of the game, I think. They might have snuck one out under there when we weren't looking a little earlier. But uh, finally, he's got solid control, even with Quantic up uh, in the gold by about a trillion. Still got that blue buff. And, you know, it's the silver linings at this point. Yeah, it really is. They, they're just picking up all these little little goodies for themselves as well. We have Loco Doco with two BF sword items. And we look over at Gunza. DFG completed. And now he has the Nomad's Medallion. And that turns into the Talisman of Ascension, which gives you the movement speed increase. The old Shirelia, since it's gone. Yeah, they, they had to rename it. Yeah. It's, of, it's uh, got, it doesn't have cooldown reduction on it, I believe. Fitting the lore together. I mean, you know, it's all right. Oh, it does. It does, actually. It's got yeah. 20%. So it's a really, really great, great item. But they had to go with the theme of, you know, three upgrades from the the gold generation items that you start with. And yes. Apple, using his ultimate... Pretty solid items as well. That uh, Frost uh, Frost Queen's whatever... Yeah, Frost Queen Blade, I believe. Something, yeah. <laughs> it's got a know. word. It's got Frost Queen and then another word. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Based solid, uh, solid item. Good pickup. Yeah, they're all really good, except I think the range on the Frost Queens is a little it's low short, for yeah, somebody yeah. for somebody like Annie. If support Lissandra is uh, is a pretty nice grab for it. Yeah, that be, would probably be doing that the would work. probably be and one of the only. Plus, ones it synergizes. You know, same particle effects. That's always something <laughs> I look for in an item pickup. You know, Picking I want to keep my art my particles synergized. The, the Frost Queen would be Ash, wouldn't it? <laughs> no. Nah. You're the Lord guy, right? No, nah, Sejuani. <laughs> She's the true. She's the true heir. It's you know. She's a false <laughs> queen. It's a whole deal. It's a uh, whole thing. <laughs> Winter's Claw, man. I got a big rep. Got a big rep. Winter's Claw. Still thirteen point three k gold right now. The lead for Quantic as a really kind of awkward dance gets started up. Doing a little Sadie Hawkins action. The boys camp standing across the gym from the girls camp. Nobody wants <laughs> to ask anybody to dance. The counselors went out and tried to get everybody to dance, but it didn't work. Everybody just made fun of them, so they left. And Apple gonna start it up. Ash Cheese Beluga to Boogie and Loco Doco gonna cut in, take it away. Corpus Pops locks it up, gets out over the wall as he does not find any quarry. Gonna be Leona falling to the far side down to Ringar. And that's gonna be it for VVV. They just don't they don't wanna fight it. Gonna go back to the pool, get some health back, let the inhibitor fall. Minion line coming in, they got a cannon minion, so Quantic can work down an Nexus turret here. Gonna get back out, get snuggled now. Got a Guardian Angel, so he can die twice. Nexus turret coming close to falling. Apple gonna tank out a couple shots, but the rest of Quantic push too far out. Loco Doco taking a tower shot. Tails just gonna get a big shot to the side of the face. About half his health gone there. As Quantic finally decide to clear it out, they don't get the Nexus turret away, but they will be able to walk out. Baron looking fairly free. Porpoise pops up, and not too long before Cheese Beluga and Godshu are back in, it's going to be Quantic that initiate the pause. So Apple's been doing so well that he has two defensive items, one the Sunfire Cape for his armor, and then for his magic resist, he has the Spirit Visage, and then he has a Trinity Force for damage, and he got a Bone Tooth Necklace very recently. He's just like, you know what, I'm going to pick up one of these stacking items. Not going to go for the Sword of the Occult, going to go for the Bone Tooth Necklace and Pierce. Yeah. Hmm. It appears. Appe yeah, no, I'm just looking at the chat here. 
Yeah, they're having some okay. ping problems. <laughs> having some ping uh, problems. We we've had them, some, uh, which makes I, I mean it, it's not unexpected. I should say is we had a little bit of a spectator server yeah. jitter uh, last game. It got yeah, a little weird at the that. start of this game, but it wasn't too bad. Yeah, looks like they're gonna be okay. Play gonna resume. We're gonna roll back into this one. Quantic still charging out front. Sixty-six point six k gold, six turrets off the field. Oh, now it changed to a seven. It's always so nice. <laughs> Here comes Apple. Oh. Gonna run onto Tails. Jinx ult not gonna land, but Prime's there. Tails with not a lot of places to go. He's gonna try to run it out. Runs into Suno and will give Suno his fifth of the game. 5 10 now. And a lot of matching across kill participation there as it's been 15 kill kill participants is a word uh, for basically jungler mid and AD carry there. Dead even across that. Look at the even. I, I was harping on it. They're just doing some beautiful stuff with the numbers on Quantic right now. They're basically winning mathematically as well as, you know, uh, physically. Not really physically. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, because it's a game. Yeah, and Suno has been snowballing his items extremely well. He has all three needlessly yeah. large rod, so rod items and the Void Staff now. He is going to be doing so much damage. It's going to be so hard to kill him. As wow, you no, know, he has he's tied for highest kill participation right now and has the most With three. Kills per I just life. said I was yeah. just I was just you were enjoying just saying that. that. You were just saying I was that. Enjoying it. It was it's a beautiful thing. Fifteen months and Loco. Yeah. Ah, they're they're and, just doing and so Loco well. Doco and uh, and Pron. Oh yeah, no, they are they are all sitting there. You're absolutely right. Thank yeah, you. that's why I was so stoked. Yeah, I was, I was, I was looking at it. I was looking you don't at love it. me, do you? No, no, no. I was listening like to it. I was just going You're to done. give you some more credibility, being like, Wombat's absolutely right, everybody. You listen to Wombat <laughs> all of the time. Solid listen save. Don't think anybody time. noticed. Yeah. Apple snuggled. Gonna catch Apple out. It's almost comical to think. 291 CS to 244 in the solo laners. 508 to 030. Dire straits right now for VVV and get snuggled. Just going to get beat up on. Again, he's got two lives to give. Porpoise Pop's going to knock up Prime and whoa, awkward Apparently time for having, a pause there. They're having some lag issues on that one. Got it's, you upset. It's, it's probably the server side. The tournament yeah. realm hasn't been holding up on EU either been from little, what I've been seeing. Been a little chunky been a little this week. Yeah, uh, yeah shaky yeah, is the word. So I just went to close to sound. <laughs> Shaky clucky. Since we got a little bit of downtime, I got to jump in before you talk about something that actually matters. Oh, they're ready. I'm going to say it real quick. Uh, guys, tickets are on sale for the Battle of Atlantic and promotion tournament. So head on over to wellplay.org slash Atlantic, I think. Yeah. And uh, take a look at those. And we'll talk a little bit more about that later as they're going to start up on the prime. They've got him locked. Shivana going to jump to the back. Suno just putting a ton of damage out, however. Going to spin the Guardian Angel Apple hanging in there. And Prime going to actually make it out of that fight. Shivana will as well. Guardian Angel burnt. Loco Doco looking for another move in. BVV was retreating. Oh, I saw that too. That was. I saw the lag from Gunza. He kind of teleported for a second. Oh, this is this is really frustrating. They're not they're not getting DDoSed or anything like that. It's they probably still have client that, uh, side stuff. Very very questionable. It's, it's not the, it's not the server. Um, obviously, Quantic got the stuff. But again, uh, VVV is saying that they're uh, they're grabbing the lag as well. And VVV, uh, they both you know, are. yeah, solid connection for those guys. So. <laughs> Loco Doco saying, play ten seconds in advance and just do that. Just do what yeah. you think you would do or be doing in ten, 10 seconds, seconds from now. Yeah. <laughs> Figure it out. But yeah, so when I was, I was talking about... Oh, go ahead. I was going to say, when I was talking about Suno's kill participation, I wanted to ring in that before it was it was Loco Doco, and I was talking about how he's been having such a great game. And Suno usually plays extremely defensive, and it shows that he has zero deaths, but he's just caught up to everybody else in his kill participation by using the DFG and being an active member. And it was such a good graph. Everybody's OCD. I think just we'll show look, it again. Those. So beautiful. Oh, I want to kiss her on the mouth. Mm. Let's draw a mouth on there. Do we have one of those things? The tele thing? The tele what do you call that? I, I don't know what it is, but I, I know yeah. teleprompter, but I, I don't know what thing. That's it. Dude, can we go. get a telestrator so I can draw a mouth on it and go smush, smush and kiss it right on the cheeks? Porpoise Pop's going to get a big shield. They're going to go after Prime. 
Off to the side, no damage though. Suno and Loco Doco still threatening. Goodza comes back in, drops a big stun. They're gonna be able to get Ari off the field. Too little too late from the looks of it. Is Loco Doco gonna go on a tear? Gunza might make it out, get snuggled on the chase. Not gonna be able to get away from the big dragon. Prime gonna miss a shot. Triple kill for Loco Doco as they trade. VVV with a knockdown drag out fight managed to pull three Quantic members off the field, but Apple and Prime still standing strong. What a widespread fight that was. Forcing half of VVV off to one side. The big tanks for Quantic chase it down that way. Well, I got to say, Cheesed Beluga gets a ton of work done on the Quantic side. Got to Suno Loco Doco and uh, didn't get Gunzo, but got Suno yeah. Loco Doco wiped off. Well, He'll get snuggled. Gonna get I'm credit. I'm glad game. we took a look at those graphs before it got all messed up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now it's everywhere. Yeah. Oh. Now it's just all over the place. Final tally is going to see uh, a, what is that, 17,000 gold lead for Quantic, all told. They're going to start off the round robin 2-0, looking absolutely vicious and really promising to head into the top three. I think if they secure one more, there's no way they can. Anyway, going to move it along. Uh, there's 15 games. How many? I don't know. I'm not even going to do the math. Forget it. Quantic take game.